what Buhari told Tudumbo ahead of swearing in. Welcome to the news and please subscribe to our channel. To get notified when we post hot juicy news updates, please click on the notification bell. In his validatory speech to Nigerian workers on May 1st, President Muhammad Buhari admonished the incoming administration of the President-elect Bala Tarimbo to treat workers with the utmost respect. Byron last minute event, Tarimbo was sworn in as Nigeria's next president on May 29th, Nigerian News report. Recall that the Independent National Electoral Commission, INEC, had declared the All Progressive Congress APC candidate as the winner of the presidential election held on February 25th. 2023. Ahead of the inauguration of the new government, Buhari said the incoming leadership must instill socio-economic development, one that is driven by the four pillars of a decent work agent to promote jobs and enterprises, guaranteeing rights at work and extending social protection policies. Represented by the Secretary to the Government of the Federation, Boss Mustafa, at the 2023 May Day commemoration held at Eagle Square, Abuja, the outgoing leader also suggested that the incoming administration must find the means to promote social dialogue for consensus building among workers while maintaining a sound national industrial relations system. Buhari maintained that workers' rights coupled with social economic justice make a happy workplace. We therefore agree that a fair economic structure targeted at creating opportunities for all to succeed irrespective of sex, race, ethnicity, age, disability, creed, religion is the synchronon for progress and development, Buhari noted. President-elect Tenable pledges living wage for Nigerian water workers. Earlier, Nigerian's president has pledged to provide more than the minimum wage to Nigerian workers, offering a living wage to improve their quality of life. Nigerians report that Sinobo made this promise in a statement issued in Abuja during this year's Workers' Day celebration on Monday, May 1st. Sinobo stated, in, Ni in the Nigeria, I shall have the honor and privilege to lead from May 29 workers. From May 29, workers will have more than a minimum wage. You will have a living wage to have a decent life and provide for your families. A History of Workers' Struggles and Achievement the president-elect highlighted the significant role played by the Nigerian labor movement throughout history, particularly in the struggle of independence and the restoration of democracy. Turnbull emphasized the importance of this collaboration between workers, nationalists, and pro-democracy activists in Nigeria progress. He said, Since 1945, when the railway workers and 16 other public service unions led by the first general strike to demand better wages, as a result of rising cost of living, the labor movement in Nigeria has always fought on the side of the masses of our country. We are firming commitment to workers and social justice. Tunuba assured workers that they would find a dependable ally in him in the fight for social and economic justice for all Nigerians, including working people. He extended a hand of friendship to Nigerian workers through the two central labor unions, Nigeria Labour Congress and Trade Union Congress. The President-elect emphasized, In me, you will find a dependable ally and co-liberal in the fight for social and economic justice for all Nigerians, including all the working people. Plans for better welfare and working conditions. Tudumbo outlined his plans for improved welfare and working conditions in its renewed hope agenda for a better Nigeria, which he described as a covenant born of a conviction that he is prepared to keep. He called upon Nigerian workers to join him in the fight against poverty, ignorance, disease, disunity, ethnic and religious hate, and other negative forces that threaten the stability and prosperity of the country. He urged the days ahead would demand better understanding and cooperation from all sides because leadership will require that we take tough and hard decisions so that our people and all Nigerian workers can live more abundantly. So Tenobu is coming out to pledge that he is going to do well, he is going to serve well, most especially on May Day. You know, May 1st was Workers' Day. 
that he is going to do well. He's going to carry workers along. You know now, normal, usual, don't worry, I will do you well. Don't worry, you find them. Um, you find a good um, working environment. I'm going to, you know, normal promising and promising. We are hoping that he is able to fulfill or keep to his promises. Because I know that the Nigeria Labour Congress, they always have issues. Then they always get issues with um, the FG. So we are hoping that maybe when or if he is sworn in, he will do what? He's going to be different. He's going to dare to be different. And Tulimbo also promised them that he's going to pay them more than minimum wage. He's going to give them a living wage. Yeah? Something that, we, you know, uh, uh, um, is going to ensure that they live well. We they look now. Now, promise, promise. Now, we see the, here at the end of the day, if and when he's sworn in, then you're going to be able to hold him by the jugular. Because now they take note too. All right. Did Buhari make not make promises yet with you? A PC is not a new thing to you. Yes. I've said it before. For any politician to come in and make, you know, to come in and get Nigerians to trust them, that politician will need to come in and do the things that he says he would, he would do. He would not need plenty, plenty, uh, what's it called? He will not need to be reminded. That is why I started saying that, look, they make the press promises we say could they even send it. Make it no plenty. So that you're going to even start from make it no plenty because so that if you if you go in and you begin you begin your 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 tenure hmm? from that first day where you begin, you start to work towards those things where you you're able to round up. It's not about promising and promising. That seeds I don't talk about more. If you're outside, you go the seeds and do the say you won't do. The moment you become the president, the moment you go and you're sworn in, all those things will be said you did see before. Believe you me, you're not going to say, except you go somewhere and jot it down. Except you jotted it down as okay, this particular thing, I kid you not, eh? I kid you not, this particular, I kid you not, after all the promises, you go forget. So we just they pray, hopefully, make a jagaban when he gets to his son, and if he gets to his son. Making making it be the same super story as others. Like I said, to get poli to get um, the electorate to trust the politicians, he's going to need more than the Pope to be convinced. Hmm? All right, I beg Buhari come out I. Okay, Buhari come out I for another man's administration. Make we know where this country problem they come from. What thing you do to better the living conditions as the president? All right, on this note, we have come to the end of the news. We say thank you for turning in to listen. Until I come your way next time, enjoy the rest of your day.